Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 on the PC with a few mods in survival mode. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 94. Deacon is with us because I learned before starting this episode that Ada doesn't have affinity and doesn't have a perk. So there's no reason for me to worry about going with her. And Deacon is the next person on the list of affinities I need to max right. for their perks. I didn't need to have more children. So I'm gonna bring Deacon with us. I didn't figure you guys needed to sit and watch all that happen. Really needs to do something about the lobby. I should warn you, some of the other hotel guests are a bit um rowdy. I was forced to defend myself when a few became a bit handsy, shall we say. The registered patrons are in a more exclusive area of the hotel though, and do not associate with this sort of rabble. Shall we be off? Yeah. Let's go. Very good. This way. I kind of wish I had a flamethrower for Deacon, but... Oh, he changed his suit. Very nice. He can do his own thing. Insert something Shakespearean involving death and your inevitable doom. I should have a battle cry. Tell your friends, you dead bastard. <laughs> we'll be here all week. That still is one of the most effective ways to kill these guys. Time to earn our paychecks. I'm getting paid. Where's this guy? Now he's on his way. Really good at this. Too good. Anybody else? Hey, what's in here? Oh, dead guy. You got fun time incoming. Too fine. Playing with you ain't dull. I'll say that. Yeah. Hoping I could figure out where that music was coming from and shut it off, but I guess not. Keep thinking I need to reload this gun, but it's not necessary. Okay. <coughs> An extinguisher. Mm. It's kind of the opposite of what I was hoping to find. <laughs> Flamethrower would be so awesome. Hey, what's over here? A hey, door. She's up there doing something. Like oh, she's got this saw. This is about the time it would be awesome to have the uh, gun from Gears of War with the chainsaw in the front. Material. I like when we find nuclear material. Oh, and telephones. You know I love telephones. Oh, we're at teeth. Okay, now we're back outside. <laughs> and apparently, little known to me, Codsworth has a perk as well, that also stacks with the perk you can get if you can later on for for the Corsair companion from the Institute, so um, oh, we were having such a good fight. new business model, we team up with a mortuary. You see where I'm going with this, right? I do, Deacon. I do. I, I think you may be on to something there. What What was that? Hey. You know, ammo is a son of a bitch. Yeah. 
He can. You keep changing your clothes. Apparently, I need to give you some. seriously. I remember when she was a green recruit. Lead pipe of the frigid chance to freeze an enemy. Twenty percent chance. You know, I'd like you to wear something. Oh, the old fisherman's hat. Long jump. Why don't we do this? Well, you can sleep. Trapper's note. What's the trapper's note say? Notes. Where are my notes? Trapper's note. This place is crawling with ghouls. Seems like for everyone I kill, two more show up. Between that big gear thing and the terminal, I know there's one of those vaults here. I can't find the damn thing. I'm setting up camp here and I'll try to push further in tomorrow. You didn't make it, did you? Listen, yeah, you and your changing hey. outfits are really neat, but... Loading up or loading off? Loading off. I'm going to give you some stuff. I want you to wear it. The old fisherman's head just sounds like a really fun thing for you to wear. So, here's the deal. Go for... Long jumps. There we go. That'll help. And the old fisherman's head. Oh yeah, put that on. That'll make that'll make you stand out. That'll be a little easier. Combat rifle short. I'm gonna give that to you too, and I'm gonna give you the lead pipe of the frigid. You can use those as you wish. Look at you. You look so much better. What's an oh look at look at here? All kinds of stuff. Ceramics. Someone didn't do the dishes. Cooking oil? Heck yeah. Oh man, I love kitchens. There's so many good good things in here. Salisbury steak though. I don't, oh. It was just laying there the whole time. Peckish from lack of food. Oh, but there's a Nuka-Cola cherry. Instamash. Potted meat, potted meat. Can you imagine? The potato crisps would still be good. Oh, 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 oh! There's water. There's clean water. This place is awesome. What about you? We can. Speaking of food, my look, queen steak. There's no place like home. Holy cow. Oh, off the edge you go. Not having to reload is kind of nice. Please have a flamethrower on you. It's that, the odds of that happening are zero. Assault Rifle of the Junkie. <laughs> per addiction we draw. Well, that's not happening. I can't be addicted. What What am I dealing with here, though? I'm dealing with weakness. Oh, can I take a... Uh, antibiotic for that? Yes, I can. Antibiotics apparently fix everything. It's not how they work in real life, but, you know, it's a video game, so that's kind of fun. Just remember, kids. Antibiotics can't cure viral infections. Can't. Is it coming down? He can wear you. You won't stay hidden for long. He's hitting with that thing. Oh. He can. My friend, you gotta quit getting in the way of my stuff, man. He has a 44 pistol of incinerating. Okay, that's that's nice. Let's see what kind of damage that does. 44 pistol. It does 56. This does 144. <laughs> but still, I might. This is gonna be fun. I want to use it like one time. Oh.
Oh, we're switching back. Okay. Where the rest of them? Getting in my way. It's really killing you. You've got ranged weapons, so use them at range. Alright, well, we got all these ghouls, and then that gun was fun for one shot while one was down, but it's not, it's not a long term solution, is it? Uh. Oh, I didn't want the dress, but that's all right. Just click into big spiral staircases. Like them. Ladle. Duct tape. What's down here? This goes outside. Oh, fun. It's a quick way out. There's the music. Can't turn you off? Okay. I was hoping I could, but. This elevator leads to the exclusive area of the hotel. You should feel quite privileged that they will be allowing you in. Sure. Okay, well, they wanted my help, so I don't feel any kind of privilege at all. They want my help. And they're gonna let me in. I don't know how they would expect me to help them from the outside. Fortunately, I think we're done dealing with ghouls. Deacon, don't don't die during the elevator travel here. That seems to be a common thing that happens. What vault? What? Eighty-eight. Radio beacon. That's interesting. This is an emergency broadcast signal from Vault 88. Authentication code word English. Vault 88 emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any available Vault Tech personnel are required to respond under Emergency Protocol T-76. This signal will repeat. So that's the Vault way back, way back in the Common Lands, I think. And it's funny that it shows up here. Fuses. Cabinet. Brown bottle. Potato crisps. Lip lighter. Okay, okay. what is this? I will not take that. Oh, hey, hey, hey. What kind of good junk in here? I can't grab any of these towels, though. These pristine white towels. Hey there. Vault Tech calling. They are very worried. 
Let's talk about my compensation first. Very well. Consider this a retainer. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. And when you're ready, we can discuss your findings. You are free to question the residents. But their safety is our priority. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. All right, Maxwell. Oh, see, it would be stealing. Okay. Well then, let's go see about this deal. The vault. Investigation time. Brain dead. Search the scene for clues. Is this blood? Yes, it's blood. Looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. Bingo. A baseball bat. Huh. What is this doing here? Oh, then it Red turns. Paint. There we go. Red paint. Hmm. All right. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? I found the murder weapon. <laughs> oh no! That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo-brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died. And then who had the means and motive to kill him? Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast <coughs> experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. All right. Now we have to interrogate everyone. You think I'm stupid? Hello, detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? You can say that. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime scene. I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Hmm? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Never mind. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. Forget it. I can't do this right now. 
On to the next ones. Who else is in there? Oh, it's just him. So now I get the classroom. Uh, here, a bunch of stuff we can't take. Oh, there's a chemistry station though. A bunch of good stuff in here. Mm. What happens if I steal some? I've been known to peek in a few pockets from time to time. Doesn't seem to bother him. It might be okay. Might be able to grab a few things over here then. You dead robo brain. Eggs here. Let's see. I want to see where Gilda is. 
Where's right. Gilda? Vaults are now my new favorite place. Protect and serve. I don't want to investigate Keith on that. Who's Gilda? I don't see another thing to you. I don't. Well, let's go this way. Maybe Gilda is one of the rigs. Maybe that's her last name. Let's find out. Hello, Mr. Whiskers. Who's a pretty kitty? Juliana, yeah, Mr. Whiskers. What a mess. And for me to say that, you know it means something. Did you need something? <clears throat> Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't think, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. Uh, I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my head in my research. I don't know, really. I try to let her handle all of the money stuff. Oh, was there something else, the detective? Never mind. Very well. I'll just get back to my work then. Oh, of course. Silly me. Just let me have a look at the... The overseer's office. Where is that? No, it's not there. I think it's over in this direction. Yeah, it's up there. Well, 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 Mr. Locke. Thing is very small. That's it. That is some precision picking there. Mm -hmm. Had to be. He was a master lock. <laughs> Well, my friend, let's take a look. Oh. Uh, didn't realize that was a going to be stolen item. Let's take a look at the terminal then. What do we have? Vault 8118 Overseer's Instructions. Vault 118 is designed to test the social interactions between the working class and the ultra wealthy when under confined conditions. Working in conjunction with staff from the Cliff's Edge Hotel, this vault shall function as a luxury hotel to attract the necessary testing subjects. Upon beginning the test, additional subjects shall be admitted from the local population into a second, much inferior wing of the vault. Overseer's law. Change of testing parameters. This is completely unheard of. One of the subjects from testing group A is apparently a researcher for general atomics on some sort of advanced robotics program. He and his wife have convinced the other members of group A that, with the international situation becoming tense once again, their best chance to outlast the war is to have their brains inserted into these robots. And they're doing this voluntarily. It's absolutely insane. I've tried to convince my superiors that this was completely discount the test results, but they seem more intrigued by the idea than appalled. We received the activation notice from vault Tech to begin the test, despite the second wing still being incomplete. However, when I attempted to trigger the recruitment protocol for Test Group B, the system informed me that I had been locked out. Someone from Test Group A seems to have overridden the system to prevent the admittance of the local population of the island. I've been pounding on the door for days and there's nothing I can do. Oh god, it's been weeks now, and I realize today that I've become the test subject. Instead of testing the social interaction between the locals and this group of rich assholes, it's just me trapped in here with them. 
You're gonna live forever. Now I have to deal with him for the rest of my life. Can't take it. Vault 118 Overseer's Log added. I preferred it. Instead of playing those at the terminal to just add them so I can walk around the vault. 118 Overseer's Tape. Progress on construction of the second wing of the vault is completely stalled. Once the premier area of the vault had been completed, funding seems to have been cut off. My supervisors have informed me that they haven't received payment from Mr. Parker, and vault Tech won't pay out of pocket to continue construction. I've repeatedly approached Ezra about the finances, but he keeps telling me that Mrs. Riggs hasn't transferred the funds. However, when I asked her, Juliana said that she had just given Ezra extra for the gold pain in the rooms. I've hired an investigator to look for signs of embezzlement in a few weeks. Sounds like Ezra was embezzling from his investors. Don't be alarmed. It's just me. Ezra was embezzling. And he had to find a way out. Okay, and where did I where did I put it? the rigs are over here? Yes. Mr. and Mrs. Riggs. Who are you? Which one is Yes. I heard you had a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to explain? Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. I found some evidence that Ezra was embezzling from you and the other investors. Oh, well, I really don't believe that. Mr. Parker wouldn't do such a thing, I'm sure. What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Never mind. Good luck catching the murderer, detective. That's what I'm gonna do. In a few minutes. Let's see, where's your friend? He said he was in the lab. Atrium. I'm not looking at you. Julian Riggs, Santiago. Where's your husband? Someone I want to talk to. He has a lab. What she said. It's a dark wing. Showers. Let's see if this guy. I can't remember how to trigger this quest again. Let's just talk to him real quick. My fellow connoisseur of the arms. Get to see my latest work. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, I just need to find her husband. Is he in here anywhere? He said lab. So oh, it must be here. Oh no. Just a bathroom. Bunch of junk. Bunch more junk. Deacon. Okay, so there's a lab somewhere. Just have to find the lab. Exit zone Protect must be over serve. here. It's here. Hello again, Did you need something? Have you noticed Juliana acting strangely lately? Oh, well, uh, I'm probably just being paranoid, but uh, she's been so much more pleasant lately. Uh, I mean, it's been nice, but also a bit unnerving. Most people don't really understand um, uh, us, uh, uh, but I always appreciated how she can just take charge of a situation. It's what allowed me to focus on my research. I, I'm worried something has happened to her. She doesn't seem like the same person. Oh, was there something else, detective? What do you mean Juliana's not the same person? My wife has always been a very harsh woman, detective. I don't know who it is in our rooms, but that is not my wife, detective. 
Oh, was there something else for the detective? Never mind. Very well. I'll just get back to my work then. And now we know. Dun dun dun. Okay, which gun do we want to use? Let's see. That gun. December's Child does DPS of 840. Gatling Laser of Crippling does a DPS of 954. <coughs> and the Spray and Prey does 700. It's explosive. And green. I shoot it fast enough. Okay. And the 5 0, which is pretty much my best. All right, let's have that one ready. It's got, it's got the stuff. Hello there. Hello, detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? I think you're the real murderer. <laughs> That's just silly, detective. Why would I want to kill Mr. Parker? Ezra was embezzling your money. That's why you killed him and framed Keith. You were so close, detective. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh, well. Had to end eventually, I suppose. This doesn't have to end in more violence, detective. Just walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them I escaped. Not a chance. Your murder spree stops here. Then let us end this. Fighting time. You've been traveling for a spell. I was hoping to have some words with you. What do you want to talk about? I'm used to flying solo, but I got to admit, working with you makes me think I've been missing out. Having someone watching your back is refreshing, especially since you never know when the Institute is watching. Feelings mutual. I gotta say, you make it look easy, but you have some built-in advantages. Some people at HQ are jealous. You took the big nap and everyone you knew is long gone. Now, hear me out on the silver lining. If a human in the railroad slips up, then they expose friends and loved ones to danger. You're safe from that. Thought of it that way. When the switchboard went sideways, some people lost family as well as comrades. That's gotta be tough. It doesn't matter much to me. I'm a synth. At least that's what they tell me. So I really don't have anything to lose. For Glory and me and the others, it's easier to dedicate ourselves to the cause. I had no idea. I figured you deserved to know. I was one of the first to get the whole cranium reboot, and Let's just say it was a learning experience for everyone. Since we're traveling together, I want you to take this. It's my recall code. If you ever need to know something about the Institute, read it to me. I appreciate the trust. Yeah, well, about that. Don't use the code unless you absolutely have to. It'll wipe my memories. I'm not sure how much of me will even be left. You know, I'd just feel better if you didn't read it until you need it. All right, my friend. Then I won't. Vault 2018. Whenever you're done corpse squatting, I'm good to go. Me too. It's all over. But the crying. It's all over. But the crying. Protect and serve. I found the killer. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My word. I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. What happened when you confronted him? He 
he attacked me, but it's over now. Your residents are safe. There you are, detective. Payment for your services and a bonus for uncovering such a heinous plot. I don't think we could have done it without you. And that's it. We're out of here, Deacon. <clears throat> Alright, let's find the quickest exit by engaging one of these other quests. Warwick Home Greenskins, we want to go do that. I want to go back to the mainland and do that. So. Brain dead. Are you brain dead? That, that was... That was the moment... Where's this go? Oh, but I can take this stuff. This is this is the this is the other wing, the junky wing. We can loot the heck out of this if we wanted to, but yeah, not necessary. <clears throat> anyway, what I was gonna say is Sir? yes, Star Wars. The Phantom Menace. Man, I'd never been more excited for a movie in my entire life. And then, and the trailers and everything made it look a certain way, and I'm like, great! And then within the first few minutes of the movie, there's there's the bad writing showing up. Are you brain dead? That, that was... That was the line that made me go, okay, this is not the Star Wars I grew up on. This is something else. Hey, we got out this time. All right, Osage Hotel. It's all of a sudden very foggy. It's very foggy. What time is it? <clears throat> okay. I want to do How do I get this overseer's most... I think I have to go turn that quest off, don't I? Yep, that's what I have to do. Faraday cleansing the Commonwealth Quartermastery. Okay, so, hmm. I think we were supposed to go back out to... Uh, we we're supposed to go back out to Echo Lumberyards. Where is it at? Way down here. Echo Lake Lumber. Yeah, we have to go back out there. Um, Dalton Farm. We're gonna go in that direction. That's it. It's over there. We're gonna go to the Dalton Farm and crash there for the night. Yeah, that was a little weird that that stair that elevator just went on and on and on and on and on and then my latest save was not not close to the elevator so i had to roll back through the final confrontation as well as all the deacon's dialogue but i have spliced all of that out because video editing tools are the power and you guys shouldn't have to sit through all of that Hey, what do we have here? This guy has a place. Actually, you know, we're right here. Let's just go sleep here. And then we'll see what we can do about getting some people sent to here. This poor old timer. There's much stuff in here, isn't there? Yep. You loot this place up, you may be able to make a, a radio recruitment beacon. So that's actually what I'm going to try to do here. Real quick, let's see about this. Nothing you can do with the burnt book, but a flip lighter you can scrap.
Oh, papers do give cloth? How did I not know that? I wish I could scrap that stuff. That's nice. I still haven't seen very much here that would... What do these give? Screw steels, rubber. See, there's no circuitry or anything in those. Presumably, all those parts have been pulled. But still. Whiskey. Transferred to the workbench. Okay, do we have enough? We've got enough for a generator. So let's just go put it on the ground then. Let's put it like right here. And I got enough for a radio recruitment beacon. Awesome. to sleep right there on a cruddy mattress. You can't sleep while taking radiation damage. Can't? Is it because there's a radiation storm? So is there some place where I won't be taking radiation? Will this work? Would this be an acceptable location? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's do something else. There's a problem with this four. This is a really, I remember this, I do remember this, this is really bizarre. This is one of those just really super bizarre things. So put that there. Hold on. happen the way I wanted them to. Darn it. Okay, let's go back and just try to like... Can we... This is a really, really odd thing here. Here it works. Alright, I'll try to fix that in the morning when I got more daylight to work with. More daylight. Let's see, uh, it's uh, I got about 20 more minutes here. This is gonna be a super sized video. So let's, let's do this. lights can't come down with that ceiling fan can. This whole flooring situation is just the weirdest thing ever. But I remember this. This is really bizarre. Yeah, what happens if I do this? It doesn't work because the ceiling is too high. Too low, I mean. So what is this? Well, that was weird. So 
so if I just put the floor like right on top Teddy bear removed. Got a person around here. Oh, they're working. They're working the food. There's not a lot of food here, is there? I'll give you some water then. Someplace easy. Need more corn, man. There you go. Six food, three water. We'll give you another piece of water here. Another one of these. Put it right over here. Here we go. Right in the corner. Alright. That'll give you some people. Happiness is going up. Great. Okay, Deacon. Now we make our way to... Dalton Farm has eight people. I want to shuffle a couple of them off to here. A couple more to Echo Lake Lumber. So let's go. here any more of them. There was just a one woof. on our Dalton That's farm. Not a good sound. Let's move it. What's not a good sound? There's a Moo Moo. I presume that that Moo Moo wants to be a part of our uh, situation over here. I'll tell you what, Moo Moo's. You guys can have a thing right here. Okay, I need more beds. Well, not necessarily, because we're going to move some people. I need more peoples. Uh, where's the bell? Let's make a bell. Ring my bell. bell, bell. Ring I my bell. This mug for too long. Might be time for a new face. Put it right. Me some peoples. Give me the peoples. There's one there. So I need a. Uh... 
people in the spots up here. Is there is nobody here? Oh, that produces that's got somebody working it. Okay. Where are all my peoples? There they are. They're all over there. You're assigned to defense. You're doing nothing. Alright, I want you to move to Echo Lake Lumber Mill. Okay. You are unassigned. I have a job for you. Oh, wait a minute. Map. R. Not R. Q. Supply lines. Show supply lines. Well, there is a supply line from here to there. So I need somebody else. Okay. Okay. You can move to the other one. The visitor center. And you guys say you need more defense. Alright, we can work that out. I got just the thing for that. Defense. Let's see what we can make here. More power. I can make six generators? <clears throat> then we should do that. Um, yeah, let's do that. Gonna click in place. Just gonna stuff you right there. It's like no, 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 because it's those are overhangs, aren't they? You know, they're just walls. Hmm. Okay. No, well, I can't stick at the place where I wanted to. Then this is business. Why is there not a wall there? Why is there not a wall there? A little puzzling. And then I need the other one. Okay, so take this floor, can I put it here? not gonna stick there it's gonna do its own thing it's fine we'll make it work give you guys some power we'll give you some real power how's that sound Do I have, will cement walls go up here? How much concrete do I have? Hey, oh, it wants to hang over the lip there. I don't understand that. That's how it wants to click, though. Oh well. I guess. What are my other options? Yeah. Oh yeah, 
Let's see. I want to be up there, don't I? Okay. That'll work. Um, let's get some connectors up here. exactly light this whole thing up, but we're going to find out. Oh, let's do something like this. Let's just make sure. Can't do that? There we go. You don't give me the graph. Same situation, huh? Looks like I need to be a little closer. something to do. There's there's no idling here, dude. Oh, somebody already took that job? They did. Oh, defend Longfellow's cabin. Okay. Missile turret. Alright, I want one missile turret right there. Uh oh, I know. It's something up here. You need some stuff here too, don't you? string power all the way out here, but that'll be a fun exercise. Missile turret in the widest possible arc. There we go. That was maybe a laser turret. Yeah, because this is where fog crawlers and stuff come from. Spotlight. I'll give you one of those right there. It'll be available when we drag the power out. Same thing with this situation. Let's put spotlight right there. Let's go with a laser turret right there. Another one over here. Yeah, let's see. What do we have? Heavy laser turrets. Alright. And then you need lights, Aziz. Kind of standing in the spot where I want to put it, but that's alright.
Darn it, get up there. Keep pressing the wrong thing. can see what, what you're doing with your crops at night. Build up the turrets. Let's see. And I need another turn. I like to have three turns here, so laser turret. Oh yeah, baby. Now we're smoking. Now we're moving in a grooving. Let's get some uh, lights set up around the rest of this place. You guys need lights. You're going to need a bunch of other stuff too, but for now, lights will help. Oh, and that's it. Metalite stuff. Metalite making materials, guys. I don't have any more steel. Alright, that means I can't make any more beds either. Beds, yeah, no steel. Oh, I can make sleeping bags though, and I can put a mattress down. Or I could just move one more of you guys. Let's find somebody to move. What are you doing there, Buck? Okay, I'm gonna move you to Echo Lake Lumber Mill. How's that sound? There you go. Good job, guys. All right, what are we looking at here? This is the supersized episode, and it's got to be done now. All right, so this is where Deacon and I are gonna end it. But this is a pretty good. Pretty good deal. Alright, folks, as always, thanks for watching. If you guys have a question or a comment, drop it down below. If you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.